start by my grandma always saying that she wanted to be reincarnated as a hummingbird. Let's take a second to appreciate the hummingbird. Hummingbirds are among the smallest of birds, most species measuring three to five inches in length. They have the ability to flap their wings 12 to 80 times a second, and they can even fly at speeds over 34 miles per hour, flapping, flitting, fluttering above so fast that their wings begin to hum. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to live such a fast life, making decisions quicker than can be viewed in plain sight, so much that this quickness even skews their perception of time. A hummingbird's day must be so productive. It barely would take any time to fly from the grocery store to their houses. If they forget their wallet back at the nest, it's all right. They'll be back in 30 seconds or less. If I was a hummingbird, I would see as much of the world as I could. My body would be my own personal jet, propelling me to far off places or as far as my wings would flap. But it must be tiring, fluttering about so quickly. I wonder if the hummingbird has the time to enjoy the quiet moments in life. The skipping of rocks into a quiet stream, the sketching of murals onto sidewalk dreams, the paper mache memories of balloons since popped, and the way the city streets look from up top. But I still can't help but admire the qualities of the hummingbird. They're such an impressive creature. Did you know that some species even weigh less than a penny? But I think I like having weight in this world. It's something to keep us from just floating away. It is something to keep our feet on the ground each day. Well, I can step back and admire the qualities that the hummingbird inspires. I think that I'm happy to say that 